Hi there. In the last section in this video, we looked at um, playing the chords and strumming um, patterns, possible strumming patterns for Spansel Hill. In this lesson, I want to um, look at some ideas of how to embellish the chords or how to make the playing a little more interesting, particularly for, particularly for a solo guitar player, so if you're playing this on your own. So the first thing we can do is um, we can add the root note to the chord of the chord on the first beat of every bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the, the root note for the first beat and then strum for beats two and three. So we already looked at the timing of this is three, four times. So we can go one, two, three, one, two, three. Now in a, on an A minor chord, the fifth string is the root note of an A minor chord, of any A chord, because it's the A string. So we've got root, which is the fifth string, strum, strum, root, strum, strum. If we go to the G chord, the root note of a G chord is on the sixth string, third fret. So we've got um, G, strum, strum, G, strum, strum, G, strum, strum, G, strum, strum, strum six, strum, strum, six, strum, strum, fourth, fourth string is the root note of a D chord because it's the D, a fourth string open is D, that note is D. And the root note is the note that the chord gets its name after. So, um, so we can play root, strong, strong, root, strong, strong, root, strong, strong. And the last chord is the C chord, which has its root note on the fifth string third fret because the fifth string at the third fret, that note is a C. So it's five strong strong C strong strong five strong strong. So if we go back to our song now, we've, we've got the first section A, which is two bars of A, three bars of G, one bar of D, and two bars of A. We'll go like this: one, two, three, one, two, three, G, two, three, G, two, three, G, two, three, D, two. The second part of the song, section B, has four bars of A. Two, three, 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 four, three, three. Two bars of C. One, two, three, two, three, three, and two bars of G. Then we repeat that. A, two, three, two, two, three, three, two. to C, two bars, two bars of G, and then we're back to section one again, which is two bars of A, minor, three bars of G, one bar of D, and one bar of A minor, two bars of A minor, sorry. Okay, now, the other way we could embellish the chords right, by adding another note is instead of just adding the root of the chord, for every second bar we could add what's called the fifth of the chord as well. Now, the fifth is the fifth note of the scale. So if I take an A major scale of the major scale. So we've got do, re, re, re. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So it's that note. In the key of A, it's an E. Now, without getting into too much um, theory at this point, because it's not a lesson on theory, um, the chord, the E, or the fifth in the name minor chord, is the fourth string basically. So what we're doing is we're playing the fifth string for one bar. So five, strum, strum, and then four, strum, strum. So one, two, three, two, two, three. Then we're going to G, and on a G, the root note is, like we said, the sixth string, third fret, and the fifth of the G chord is the open fourth string, which is a D. So on the G chord, we're playing six, four. Okay, and if we go to D, it's the fourth string, because that's the root note. And then the fifth string open. But we're 
only playing one D, one D chord in, or one bar D in the song, so we're just going to play the fourth string. So I'll get to that in a second. Now for the C chord, we can play the fifth string, followed by the fourth string again. Which isn't the fifth of the chord, incidentally, it's the third of the chord, the third note in the scale. But, okay, we would need to get the fifth, we would need to move to here. So that G is the fifth, but but we can go with it. The third sounds equally, sounds perfectly fine as well. So we're going five, strum, three, sorry, five, string five, string four. Now if we go back to the tune, so we've got two bars, section A has two bars of A minor. So we're gonna go, on the first bar, we're gonna go string five, two, three, string four for the second bar. Then we've got three bars of G, so we can play the root note, the fifth, let's push the string four, and then back to the root note for the third bar. Then for the D, we've got one bar, so we can play the fourth string open, and then we've got two bars of A minor. Okay, for section B, we've got um, four bars of A minor, so we can just play five, four, to C for two bars and then we're going to G for two bars and then we're back to A minor for four bars C for two bars G for two bars and then we're back to section A again so just like in the um, just like in the chords, uh, well, the same thing, but they, we're repeating the sections, okay? So the last um, line of the, the verse, there's four lines in each verse, and um, the first line is section A, second and third lines are section B, and then the first line, um, section A, is repeated again. So section A again. D. And two bars of A minor. Okay, now, <clears throat> that's, that's one way of embellishing the tunes, so, so let me just do that again. Yeah. Sorry, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Section A again. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now, the next thing we can do is we can add in some melody notes. So, just on the A minor chord, this is a really, um, you can do this in any playing you're doing, um, any tune you're doing in the key of A minor, you can add this. So what I'm doing... So what we're doing here is I'm playing, I'm hammering on right at the 4th string 2nd fret. And then, so... So when we were doing five, strum, strum, four, strum, strum, this time we can do five, strum, strum, hammer on to four, strum, strum, five, strum, strum, hammer on to four, strum, strum, five, strum, strum. And then we could add that in. So I'm playing the open sixth string. Third fret, sixth string with my pinky, and then back to the, the root note. So, if you want to kind of like, if you want to kind of take a break between the verses. Play 
that for a while if you if, um, forgot the words or anything like that. Okay? If there's any particular reason why you would want to take a break between the verses. Okay, so the next thing, so that's on the A minor. So now we want to try and play some of the melody of the um, tune. So let's look at section A again. Now, this kind of follows the chords fairly closely. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing last night, last night, last night. So these, these notes are on the fourth string, second fret. So they'll go to the G, three, and I'm playing the fourth string, fifth string, and sixth string. And I'm not moving any fingers here, it's just. So let's do it without the hammer-ons or anything like that. So I'm playing four strum, strum, four strum, strum, four, five, six, four strum, strum, four strum, strum, four, five, six, four strum, strum, four strum, strum, four strum, five, six, four, five, five, five. Okay, let me just play it again. Okay, so I'm going four, 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 five, six, five, and down to D four, and then I'm going to play this note to get back to the A minor, which is the G. Now you can play it or leave it out. Okay, all these um. Like this isn't exact either, it's not an exact science and I wouldn't play it probably again at the exact same time every time but I've given you a sheet with this on it, with the melody notes on it. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to build the melody notes in around with the chords, okay? And this might just take a little bit of practice and a little bit of getting used to but um, but it could become, try and pick out the notes, it's, it's, they're fairly obvious and it doesn't take that much um, there, there's not a lot of um, finger movements, so and you can hammer on to notes. So rather than just playing the note like that, I'm going to hammer on. Okay, so. So straight forward and into the D. put that one in just to connect the chords. Now I don't, I can, you can leave it out. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then we're back to this. Now the section B. It's a four string again. I'm going to the second string, first fret, so I'm not moving any fingers, I'm just playing the string. Sorry, I'm on the third string there. Now I'm going to the second string. Now I'm going to lift my first finger off and back to the third string. So to get that melody note there, I'm going to lift. And I have to lift my, if I want to play the melody exactly as it's, you know, as the, the, the singing part, then I'm going to have to start moving, you know, taking all fingers and replacing them. So here we go. So what I'm doing there, my, 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 my. so I'm playing four, I'm not moving anything, four twice, three twice, string, string two open, back to string three with finger two on, on the second fret. Then lift my second finger to get that open note, and then back to the, the four string second fret. So I'll do that. Okay, so that's that bit. And you kind of try and get it in while you're strumming those chords. It doesn't sound just like a melody because you're holding most of the chord most of the time anyway so it sounds okay 
No. If I play the skate, the tuning exactly um, according to the melody, then I need this note. Now I'm going to take my finger, the chords off here for this side. So I'm playing. I'm sliding up to four. You can slide or just or just move up there and play that note. So it's the second, it's the fourth fret and um, fourth string, and then the third string opens. So four open, third string open, second fret. So I'm going. And that brings me into the G, sorry. Um. Yeah, so, so I'm. So I'm playing that riff over the C chord. I'm not playing C at all while I'm doing that. And then I repeat that, so. That's section A and section B, and like we said earlier, these sections are repeated, so the next line repeats that. So, I'll just give you the melody exactly, so... So, so again, it's string 4, 2nd fret, twice, then I go to string 3, fret 2, then string 2, open, Back to string three, second fret. Then string three open. String four, second fret. Slide to string f fret four, string four. String three open. String three, second fret. String three open. String four, fret four. String four, fret two. And then into G, so string four open. Back to section one. Okay, so look. Um, you don't need to play the melody exactly note for note like so if I'm just getting the gist of the melody it's fine okay so the first section A is easier because the notes are all more or less in the chords so it's five four five six I don't need to play all the notes in the in section B, so I could just go. So I'm getting the, the, the gist of it. So without moving up here. So there I'm playing the exact melody, so I don't really need to do that. If you find this quite difficult at the beginning, you don't need to do this. So. Could embellish it with things like hammer ons under under uh, the nose that you're already holding down. Okay, so look, um, have a go at that. So, what we're trying to do is just make the tune from a solo point of view, from a solo guitar player's point of view, try and make it more interesting. And um, that we're not just strumming the guitar all the time, that we're trying to knock out some melodies as well. Okay, so look, have fun with that. and. Um, that's kind of Spansel Hill done and dusted. Now the only, the last thing to say is that it's in the key, um, okay, you see this written in the key of A minor, but we're playing it in B minor because we're playing capo on the second fret. So we've moved up. If you move an A minor chord up two frets, you, this is actually B minor. Okay, so that's it. Um, so I'll see you in the next lesson and um, have fun with that. And until then, bye.